morning and welcome to the last Eagle Eye of the school year. I'm Maddie Berg. And I'm Davis Wynn. Hey, great hat, Davis. Thanks, Maddie. I don't know, but this might be the only hat that doesn't violate the dress code. Where's yours? I still need to pay my parking fines before I can get it. Hey, seniors, don't forget to leave today without paying up front in the office. Today our show will have a little bit of a senior feel to it as we enjoy our last few moments at Apple Valley High School. Our first two stories focus on a few seniors looking at their past and some who are looking forward to their future. Here are Ryan and Gina with, Gina with the story. During our freshman year, most of us wrote a letter to ourselves to read our senior year. However, some of us have changed quite a bit. Little things that have changed in my letter, like I was talking about my pets, and I was like, I hope this one's not dead, and it is, which is really <laughs> depressing. Well, I was kind of surprised by uh, the maturity level that has changed since freshman year. I think seniors have changed in that they're much more technologically savvy and their social life is more tied into Facebook, tweeting, you know, texting messages back and forth. I think that's changed a lot and I think it's kind of changed the way we interact with people and especially the way the seniors interact with each other. So, what do seniors and teachers think about freshmen writing a senior letter? It's one of those kind of touch points, a place to check where you were to where you've gone and what you've become. I think it's really interesting. Everybody wants their letter, everybody reads their letter, and anyone that doesn't do it is usually disappointed. I definitely think that it's better if you write your letter like sincerely and like coming from your heart, because then when you get it back, it's true to yourself. I think it is a good experience to be able to uh, go back and see what kind of person I was then and see how I've changed throughout my four years. So, freshmen, grab your pen and paper. Reporting for Eagle Eye, I'm Gina Suzy. Most graduating seniors are already thinking about what it will be like moving out for college. But if you're anything like Dustin Miller, going to college isn't just about what lies ahead, but also about what you leave behind. I'm going to Arizona State University. You know, I'm leaving everything that I've known here. I've lived here my whole life. But at that same time, that's the reason I kind of want to get out here, you know? I'm going to Washington Jefferson College in Pennsylvania. The hardest thing about moving out is going to be going away from my family. Moving out is a big moment, not only for the students leaving their home. I just had so many birthday parties were out here. But for the parents watching their children grow up. We won't have anything to do in the evenings. <laughs> no diving, no gymnastics, no track. I told the girls from all the other sports teams I'd probably become a groupie. And think of all the money we'll save. It's gonna be different to not have uh, anybody here with us. Um, I guess the excitement overrides the nervousness because I know he's ready to go. Oh uh, Yeah, I guess I'm you know, ready to roll out of Apple Valley and just kind of get on with my life, you know, set up some new things, meet new people, and I can see my mom crying like a baby right when I, right when I get there and she gets on the plane back from, to come back here. I know she'll be pretty sad. Make us proud, as you always have. <laughs> now I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Reporting for Eagle Eye, I'm Ryan Hansen. Thanks, Ryan and Gina. No matter if you're moving half an hour or half a country away, the change is exciting and challenging. Happy packing, but pick up your letters before you leave. So, Davis, have you read your letter? Yeah, so much cooler now. <laughs> Next up, we have to take a look at some teachers who have man maintained their cool throughout the years. Here's a look back at senior pictures of some of our staff. and staff for letting us take a look at your fresh faces. Our last show means two things. No more fresh phrases and no more Rodrigo Fresco. Oh, Rodrigo. Here's the last Dr. Roberts and the last Eagle of Our Lies. Hello there, and welcome to Dr. Robert Charles' Fresh Phrases. Have you ever been conversing with your friends and have no idea about their hip slang words? Well, today I'm here to settle this confusion. Today's slang word is bounce. What bounce means? And I'm busy, why don't you guys just bounce? Uh, bouncing like my fro? Bounce is a detergent. Formal definition. To spring back after impact. It 
informal definition to vacate the premises. Used in the sentence, class of 2010, it's time for you to bounce. Doctor's orders. Rodrigo es mío. Yo lo voy a ganar. Di gente pelear son hermanas y son ricas. Estoy alto de sus juegos. ¿Entonces está hecho? Sí, yo tengo el dinero. Ganamos este juego. Las jugué a las dos. Pues yo te jugué a ti. ¡No! 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 ¡Adiós! That's all. Have a great end of the year. And an awesome summer.